<clears throat> I'm indeed pleased to see that everyone is present. As the executor of Mr. Muldoon's estate, I have been empowered to read to you his last will and testament. <laughs> I, Arthur Durham Muldoon, being of sound mind and body... Ah, oh, that, that's a laugh! <laughs> ...do hereby divide up my considerable estate as follows. To my overly emotional sister, Jenny. <laughs> He's talking about you, dear. <laughs> who grubbed for every penny she could get and then cried crocodile tears when I needed sympathy. What? To Jenny, I bequeath a boot to the head. Ooh. And one for her wimpy husband, Chester. Oh. Is that all the thanks I get? No, there is more. Still, you are my sister, and since you've always admired my Rolls Royce... This is more like it. I bequeath another boot to the head. Ooh. And one more for the whip. Oh. <laughs> Next. Oh. My alcoholic brother, Hedge. Uh, I, I don't want no boot to the head. Who has never worked a day in his drunken life. I'm covering my head. I bequeath three crates of my finest whiskey. Really? And a boot to the head. <laughs> and one for Jenny and the wind. <laughs> and finally to Mrs. Mulroy. Oh, I don't want nothing. Who took care of me these many years. Who brought me tea and made me laugh. Oh, it was a pleasure, honestly. To Mrs. Mulroy, I bequeath a boot to the head. <laughs> and finally to my cat, I bequeath. My entire vast boot to the head. <laughs> and I leave my entire estate to the people of Calgary so they can afford to move someplace decent. Is that it? Is that all? And one for Jenny and the Wimp. 